What is going on guys? We are back. Another episode coming at you. Today we're going to be working on my 92 Toyota pickup, affectionately known as Betty White. Um, it's been a little minute since we worked on the truck. Last video I dropped on it was just the overview of the whole truck doing the three inch lift on the front, which is a ball joint spacer. And uh, fancy rims, slightly bigger tires, but not too much crazy. Today what we're going to do is complement the lift in the front. We are going to get rid of Betty White's sag yes by putting in some overload springs or uh, add a leaf. Basically, I ordered a pro comp add a leaf system for the truck. Um, waited two weeks, didn't hear anything back. Found out that it was on back order for about 90 to 120 days. Uh, keep in mind I live in Canada, so that's how it goes. And all the other out of leaves really have so much money it wasn't worth it for this because I'm not looking for a tow capacity, I'm just looking to lift the rear end up a bit. Um, or they weren't in stock because, you know, COVID. So what we've done today is I've stolen some leaf springs off of a 1951 International One Ton truck that we had at the farm. So my idea is that I'm going to use these like an out of leaf um, and hopefully see what happens and maybe if we're lucky, lift the ass end up a little bit on the truck. So that's what we're going to do today. And without further ado, let's get this thing up in the air. Like, and just like that, wheels are off, ass end is up. Now we can look at what we're doing. So I've had this truck apart a million times. And as you can see, I have a baby step notch that I did years ago back when this thing was slammed to its nuts on the ground. Uh, but at one point I had taken out the overload springs and the secondary spring and mono leafed it for a while to get super low street truck vibes. So everything should be super loose. Well, I mean loose as in like it shouldn't be seized, but let's get this apart. I got the four and 19 millimeter bolts off of the, or sorry, nuts off the U-bolts. So that's all hanging free right now. Got the bottom plate off. Uh, you're going to want to remove the shock mount as well and pull the bottom of the shock out. That's a 14 mil, super simple, easy. So that one's out. I think you call that the spring pocket, I don't know. But I'm gonna let you guys on a little secret here to make your life easier, whether you're lifting your truck, lowering it or adding anything or taking away leafs. So this dowel, it gets super worn out over time. And then it eventually just snaps when you're ready to take these out and you have to order a new one. What I found out that works best is you get yourself a Allen, Allen head bolt with a nut. A nylock and it works perfect because it lines up it's the same size as the dowel and it lines up perfect with your hole for the bottom of the differential differential or the axle and it lines everything up and it works great and then doesn't seize on or at least you have something to grab to and it works phenomenal so literally 30 seconds later got the leaf pack separated overloads down here bolts there all good to go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab yeah if you can see there See how rusty and crusty that gets already real quick. So with the dowel pin from factory, there's no way you're going to take it off. At least in Canada, there's no way you're taking it off without stripping it out, destroying it, breaking it, you name it. So hopefully, I know some people are going to hate me for the Allen bolt idea, but you know what? It made life so simple and I've had no issues with the alignment on the truck. It doesn't dog leg or anything. But anyways, this is the part. Now I'm going to grab some clamps, clamp this together. Uh, and then let's see how these work. All clamped up, got that one in. So my Allen bolt is not quite long enough to fit the overload back on. And like I said, I didn't think I was gonna add it, but now I'm kinda thinking maybe I should, but we'll put it together and see what it does. Um, worst case scenario is I have to buy a new longer uh, Allen bolt, so we'll see what happens here. She is all buttoned back up together. So everything's lined up, should be good, and I'm kind of thinking this will actually lift it, hopefully, because I had to lift up the rear end uh, just to be able to get my impact underneath to zip those bolt bolts back up. And when you let it down, this side sits a lot more arched now than the other side. So I think what I'm going to do first, I think I will throw the wheels on, just a couple of lugs real quick, put her on the ground, just see how she sits. Uh, I'll do that first, and I guess before I do that I'll put the shock on, but we'll do that, see how she sits, and then uh, continue with the other side. 
Okay, wheels are on roughly. Pulling the stands out, and then we can see where she sits here. Just for the hell of it. Moment of truth, let her drop and see what happens here. Oh yeah, there we go. That's looking better. So I can fit my whole hand in like so. And I mean, I know the suspension will have to settle a bit, but this side, four fingers, can't fit a fifth. So I'd say we got about uh, roughly about an inch of lift. I'll just hop on the truck and see how she is once I bounce it up and down a bit. Jumped on the back a little bit, seeing if she'll settle. And yeah, she did settle a little bit. So we did get a little bit of lift out of that. Not a ton, but that is a lot better. And it could also be the fact, oh yeah, now I can only fit three. Yeah, we definitely got about an inch of lift. And by inch, I mean total guesstimation with fat fingers, so. That's good. That means uh, things are working. Got a little bit of wheel gap now. It's not sitting so squatted anymore. It's not dragging its ass anymore. So now I'll lift it back up, put the jack stands under, do the opposite side. But you guys already saw this side, so I'm gonna fast forward and get this whole thing done. Alrighty, this side's done too. Now all we have left to do is pull the jack stands, drop her, and see how she sits completely. So as per usual, she's ready to go. Pull these, and then let's see how she sits. I'm excited. Whoa. Ooh, buddy. There we go. We definitely got some lift now. Look at that. Let me get in better lighting. Ooh, look at that. Way better. Oh yeah, full hand. I'm going to torque these wheels, take it around the block, let everything settle, retorque, and then we'll see how she sits out in the sun. Okay, went for my quick little jaunt around the block, and everything settled, retorqued the rear wheels, everything's 100% good to go. This thing lifted up quite a bit in the ass end. Now it's, I'd say it's maybe half an inch higher than the front, which is fine, or about level. But that's awesome, because the front I did the three inch lift and then I adjusted the torsion bars because the three inch lift will give you about two inches of lift. Uh, and then you have to adjust the torsion bars to get that full three. So I played with that. And then I also shim the front because you get some positive camber with that after you lift the front end like that. It's no different than if you went slammed to the ground, you're gonna have negative camber. But the rear end was always lower than the front, which, I mean, I don't hate the look. It's okay if it's, you know, just the slightest bit, but, uh, it just wasn't working for all the camping I've been doing and stuff. I needed something that would hold everything and stop bottoming out all the time. So this is the perfect deal. So I took it around the block, took it over some whoops, and we got a full hand right now, which is a huge difference. I'll throw a picture in right here. And that gives you the reference point as to how much this has sort of lifted. I should have measured before and after and gave you a baseline, but uh, you know, I wasn't sure if these were going to work or not. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed this quick video on, we're going to call this the 100% free Adelief system. Uh, I did this on my 92 Toyota two-wheel drive. If you've seen the other videos, you know that we lifted the front as I mentioned. So this thing's been through everything, it was slammed, now it's lifted, a whole bunch of other things. But my goal was to lift the ass end up because it was sitting too low. Uh, some people like that look. I mean, it's whatever to me, but more so when I load it up with all my camping gear and you go camping, I mean, these are small trucks, they're a quarter ton. So it would sag and when you're going down the highway, you keep, since the offset of the wheels and stuff, you keep hitting the fender a little bit when you hit big whoops and the suspension would compress. So I wanted to lift it up a bit, make it a stiffer ride in the back and I found the ticket. Turns out 1951 International one ton, the smallest leaf on the leaf pack in the rear end is the same width and it bolts right up to a 92 Toyota pickup and I'm sure it bolts right up to so many other vehicles as well. But since it's got so much girth to it and it's got such an aggressive arch to it being a one ton truck, I figured stealing one, replacing my overloads and putting that in would lift it. Turns out I was right. So 
if anybody's looking at wanting to do an out leaf or if you're looking like me and you're just dirt cheap and you want to do everything for free, I hope this helps you guys. Go to your local junks, junk, uh, junkyard and maybe you can find something that'll work the same. Just make sure you measure the width and uh, where the center pin goes. This worked out perfect, so it should work for you too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this 100% free out leaf lift kit or lift installation for this Toyota pickup. Um, like I said, we got about maybe a little over an inch of lift out of it. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and have a great day.